Hey guys, my name is Matt and welcome to the Game Gengo vocabulary series where we go through a section of a game and cover all of the language that we come across, breaking down every single piece of the Japanese with a real focus on the vocab so that you can learn vocabulary, but you'll also get a ton of revision of grammar, sentence structure, kanji, and all kinds of things. So in this episode, we are going to be finally returning to Final Fantasy VIII, one of my favorite games of all time. I've been wanting to come back to this game for so long, I can't believe it's already been over over a year since the first episode. That's just crazy. How has that time passed so quickly? <laughs> I've been so busy making so many videos that I didn't realize that time had passed so quickly. Um, I have so many things that I'm trying to tackle right now, you know, so many different video styles. So finally coming back um, to Final Fantasy VIII. So in this episode, our mission is to defeat Ifrit. In the last episode, we just finished class with Quistus telling both Skoll and Cypher off for fighting. And so we just finished there um, at the computer terminal. If you want to get a refresher before watching this episode then feel free to check the link in the description um, I'll have a link for the first episode. However you certainly don't have to, these episodes are entirely standalone for anyone. So without further ado, let's get into Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, so we just finished class and Quistus is saying to us, Anata, mada honno no doukutsu ni itte nai wa ne. So, anata is the word in Japanese for you, although normally you would refer to someone using their name instead of anata, this is the word for you. So, it's very much pointing at the person, right? Anata, so you. Mada means not yet or kind of still haven't. So you still haven't done an action. You will often see this mada meaning still haven't when the verb at the end of the sentence is in the nai form and we can see already that it is here with itte nai, right? So we can see that this means I still haven't done something. Next we have this little part in blue which is hono no doukutsu. So hono, the first kanji, this means flame, right? Very much flame, fire, uh, flame no dokutsu. And dokutsu is a cave or a cavern. So if you've already played Final Fantasy VIII, you will know that this is referring to the flame cavern where Ifrit lies, our mission for this episode to defeat Ifrit. So hono no dokutsu ni to the flame cavern itte nai wa ne. And iku means to go. Here, ittenai means that you haven't gone yet. Mada ittenai, right? This is where that mada comes in. You still haven't gone yet. Mada ittenai. And then we have wa and ne, two particles at the end of the sentence. The wa is a kind of feminine emphatic particle, adding emphasis to the sentence. And then ne is kind of getting confirmation. So if we put all these pieces together, you still haven't gone to the flame cavern, right? Anata. まだ炎の洞窟に行ってないわね。あの課題をクリアしないと今日のシード試験には参加できないわよ。Next, Quistus says, あの課題をクリアしないと今日のシード試験には参加できないわよ。So, あの means that. Kadai means kind of an assignment, right? So an assignment that's been given to me. So that assignment, ano kadai o. So we're doing something to the assignment. Kuriya shinaito. So kuriya suru means to clear something, as in to complete something, right? To complete a task, as in my kadai, my assignment. So to finish my assignment, to clear the assignment, right? So kuriya shinaito. So if I don't clear it, kyo means today, kyo no shido shiken. So shido is the seed, shiken is a test or an examination, so today's seed exam, ni wa, so as for regarding to or with, as for regarding with or as for regarding to today's seed exam, sanka dekinai. And then sanka suru here means to participate in something, so to participate in the exam. And then again we see the wa particle here being very emphatic, but this time it's actually partnered up with the yo particle, another emphatic particle. This is double emphasis, like super super emphatic, so because this is quite a serious thing, right? If I don't clear this assignment, I won't be able to participate in the exam, and that's why we see this double emphasis, right? It's, this expresses that she's really kind of teaching something and really, you know, hey, you got to make sure to do this assignment, otherwise you can't do the exam. So it's very, very strong. Ano kadai o kuriya shinai to kyo no shido shiken ni wa sanka dekinai wa yo. 
If you don't clear that assignment, you won't be able to participate in today's seed exam. And then Squall kind of thinks to himself, we can see that here with the kind of speech bubbles here and the, you know, the brackets. And so he's thinking, Kesa ikoto mutanda, demo saifaga. So Kesa means this morning. So the ima kanji for now, and then the asa kanji for morning, put it together, it turns into Kesa this morning. And then again, we can see the iku verb here to go, but this time it's in the volitional form, iko. What does volitional actually mean? It means that you're showing volition to do an action, as in, it means it's showing the will to do an action, right? So kind of the intention, the will of doing an action. So here, I was going to go, I intended to go, right? Kesa, iko to omotanda, Omo means to think, and then unda is it kind of explaining. It is that, right? So it is that I thought I was wanting to go this morning. Demo. However, saifa ga. So saifa is, if you don't remember, I'm the character from last episode. Very cool guy with blonde hair and a white jacket, and he's kind of a badass. <laughs> um, he's kind of Squall's rival in this game. So saifa ga. And then we have this ga particle and then it's kind of trails off. So here we have ga, the subject marker. So it's showing that Cypher did a certain action. What action? It's not clear, right? We can't see in this sentence. However, if you remember from last episode, Cypher attacked Squall um, in training. And so that would be the mysterious part that's missing in this sentence at the end, right? Demo, Cypher ga. And maybe it's like he attacked me, he cut me or, you know, something like that. So if we put it all together, I thought of going this morning, but then Cypher... Dun, dun, dun. Hmm? Nanika seito na ryu ga aru no? Hmm? Nanika seito na ryu ga aru no? So this... Hmm? <laughs> this is kind of like a huh? A hmm? So kind of, you know, it shows that she's, you know, kind of asking a question without asking a question. Hmm? Huh? And then nanika, this means something or some kind of. Nanika seito na, so this is a na adjective, we can see that it is modifying the next word, which is ryu. And seito na means kind of like a legitimate, justifiable. So a justifiable ryu, reason. Seito na ryu, a justifiable reason. Ga aru no. Aru means to exist or to have, and then no is kind of a soft question particle, so kind of a soft way of asking a question. If you had ka at the end here, it'd be quite a strong question, right? Nanika seito na ryu ga aru ka? Whoa! It's very, very strong. Um, but no just makes it a little bit softer. So, hmm? Do you have some sort of justifiable reason? Betsuni. Betsuni. <laughs> so Betsuni here um, is kind of Squall's kind of trademark in a way. Um, it was translated in the English version as just whatever, but this actually means not particularly. So do you have a particular reason why, as she just asked, and he says, hmm, not really, so Betsuni. So this could just be a normal response to saying, yeah, I don't really have a reason, right, Betsuni. But it could also show, for example, that you don't have any interest in the conversation. If you, for example, if you imagine, you know, a rebellious teenager, who doesn't really want to engage in conversation and they're just kind of like whatever whatever very similar in english right well they could say this in japanese petsuni petsuni and so i believe that's probably why this was translated in the english version of the game as whatever rather than not particularly because that's more how the language is actually used so, sore ja is actually a little bit more of a colloquial way of saying sore dewa. That means, in that case, well then. And then kore kara, kore means this and then kara is from. So, from this or from now, ishoni means together and then iku, we already know, means to go. Why yo, as you hopefully already remember. So, this is a very emphatic feminine sentence ender. So, well then, in that case, let's go from now together. Jishin So, Jishin, this is self-belief. 
or self-confidence. So jishin ga nai means that you don't have any self-confidence. However, it's in the tada form, this is a hypothetical. If it's the case that you don't have any self-confidence, jishin ga nakata ra gakushu yo paneru. So gakushu here is study. Yo, if you see this at the end of kind of a compound, which is, you know, this is connected to another word, this means for the use of this your part. So for the use of study, gakushu yo paneru, a panel for the use of study, right? And then we have de. Now this could be both marking the point or place of an action happening, or it could be the means of an action. So let's have a look at the rest of the sentence. Fukushu shite kara. So fukushu suru, this means to review something. And then shite kara, so shite is suru in the te form. And then when you see this te form followed by kara, this means after doing something. So after reviewing, demo, even, okay, it's okay. And then this yo is kind of like an exclamation mark, right? So if we rewind back to that de particle, here we can see the action that we're doing is reviewing at the panel for study. And that's what that de particle is doing, at. So if you don't have any confidence, it's okay to go after you have reviewed at the study panel. So, watashi wa, watashi is the very standard pronoun to talk about oneself. Wa means as for. So, as for myself, as for me, semon here, as we see in blue, this is the front of the school. So, this is like a, you know, a location. It's highlighted to help show you guys that this is an important location. So, semon de at the front gate, matteru, so this means to be waiting, matsu is to wait, and then matteru, or here matteru, this is just a more colloquial way of saying matteru, this is waiting. And then here we see kara again. Now, you may think, hang on a second, we just saw this, fukushu shite kara, but because it was with the te form of the verb, fukushu shite, that meant after doing an action. But here, it's matteru, this means waiting. Kara. This kara means because or since or so. So just be careful, it's not after. This one actually is showing reason or kind of because, since, so. I will be waiting at the front gate, so. Watashi wa seimon de matteru kara. Junbi here means preparation. Ga dekitara. So when you've finished these preparations. So here, dekiru can actually mean to be able to do something, but in this sense, it actually means to finish doing something. And then again, in the tada form, so if or when, when you've finished your preparations, kinasai, please come. So if we put it all together, I will be waiting at the front gate, so come once you've finished your preparations. Okay, now we have two special locations. So, gakushu yo paneru wa jibun no seki de mirareru hazu yo. So, gakushu yo paneru wa, as for the study panel, jibun no seki, jibun means one's own, but it could also be your own, right? So, it's, you know, one's own, your own. Seki is the seat. So, your seat, we can see with the no particle possession, at your seat. 自分 no seki de mirareru hazu. So, mirareru means you should be able to see it, right? It's something that it's possible to be able to see. Mirareru hazu means that it's expected to be the case. So, it's expected that you should be able to see the study panel at your own desk. <laughs> this is kind of funny. So um, there's actually these kind of uh, groupies. <laughs> um, Quistus actually has groupies, which is really weird. People who really love the teacher. <laughs> um, so she has her own kind of fan club. And one of them says, <laughs> 
<laughs> so, urayamashi here means that you're very envious, you're jealous of someone, right? So, they are very, very jealous. Urayamashi, watashi mo, me also. So, we've seen watashi wa as for me, but here, watashi mo, mo can mean also. Me also, sono kadai, that assignment, uketai wa. So, ukeru here means to receive something. And then wa, as we know, is kind of a feminine emphatic particle used at the end of the sentence. Now, just quickly to be careful, um, if you come to the Kansai region, and even in this game, wa can actually be used by males, especially because of the connection with the Kansai dialect. Um, this is actually to totally normal to use in the Kansai region, like Kyoto and Osaka, so you might actually see a kind of growing acceptance of using wa, especially when you're being very emphatic. It can actually be used by anyone, however it's generally, uh, traditionally, a kind of feminine ending. So, uh, I'm so jealous, I also want to receive that assignment. Chikoku! <laughs> and now we have the arrival of another character that's kind of one of the main core cast members of this game, Selfie. And we can see she's running through the hallways, um, and she is late. Chikoku. So here, Chikoku means to be arriving late. And so she's like, ah, oh, Chikoku! I'm running really, really late. And as you can see, she's about to smash into me. Daijoubuka? So we bump in together and she says, Kya! Which is like, ah! And then uh, you have a choice. You can either say, Daijoubuka, or you can just ignore her. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> so I would like to say, Daijoubuka, are you okay? Daijoubu just means all right, okay. And then Kai's a question. So are you okay? Are you all right? Daijoubuka. Daijoubuka. Shotta. Shotta. <laughs> so this is an interesting piece of language right here. Um, this is probably connected to the expression yokkoisho. So this is kind of like, in the English dictionary it says heave ho. I've never heard anyone say heave ho before, but I think the description is the most important thing right here. An expression of effort or strain. So you, we could see that Selfie was kind of making a little bit of an effort uh, to kind of get up and be like, all oh, right, right, to kind of get all um, better. I'm not really too sure what would be a natural expression to use in this situation in English. Um, all righty then. <laughs> I don't know. There we are, perhaps. Daijoubu <laughs> <laughs> And then in response to my question, uh, she kind of laughs, she says, Teh. So this Teh is just kind of a cute little eh -eh -eh laugh. Uh, it's kind of embarrassed. And then Daijoubu da yo, I'm okay. So this Da is kind of making things very assertive, right? So I asked, are you okay? And so she says, Daijoubu da, I'm okay. So this, this Da is adding quite a strong bit of assertion to the sentence. Gomen ne, isoite takara. Gomen ne, isoide takara. So, gomen, this is a way of apologizing. Super useful expression, just to say, ah, sorry, gomen. Gomen ne, <laughs> this ne just makes it a little bit softer, right? If you say, ah, gomen, it's kind of a little bit strong, right? It's a little bit like, ah, like you're apologizing. But gomen ne is kind of a little bit more buddy buddy, uh, kind of being a little bit more friendly. Then we have isogu. Now, isogu means to rush, to be in a hurry. And then isoide ta means I was in a hurry, kara because. So because I was in a hurry. So I'm sorry it happened because I was in a hurry. Ne ne, moshikashite soko no krasu no hito? Ne ne, moshikashite sono krasu no hito? So ah is like a kind of exclamation, ooh! And then ne ne, as I already said, right? Ne is kind of trying to buddy up. So she's like, hey, hey, moshikashite, by chance, or maybe, soko, so over there, that place, soko no krasu, krasu means a class, and then no hito, so a person. And so here we have two no particles in this little clause. Soko no Kurasu no hito. So the way no particles work is the first one is the biggest box, and then the further along you go, the kind of smaller it gets. So the most important thing is that over there, that over there's class, and then that over there's class's person. Soko no kurasu no hito. So hey, hey, by chance, are you from that class? Mo, moshikashite, 
ホームルーム終わっちゃったも、もしかしてホームルーム終わっちゃった So she kind of stutters in the beginning to mo, mo, s k a s h t e So we already know that means per, per chance, maybe. Homu rumu, that's just home room, the kind of katakana of English version. And then o w a r u is to end, to finish. And then we can see it here in the teshimao form. This means that either something has completely happened or it's regretfully happened, which sometimes has a similar meaning in English, right? Oh, I completely screwed that up, right? It, it just kind of shows a very strong doing something, right? So, did class completely finish or did class regretfully finish? So, has homeroom finished? Gan shoku! Gan shoku! <laughs> so, gan here is the noise of kind of like, if you think about like a piano dropping, <laughs> bam! <laughs> that kind of thing, right? So, she's like, oh no, gan! And then, shoku just means shock. Right,、um, again, very similar to English. <laughs> so, oh no, what a shock! Utate, cocote, mine eat the garden yori heroin damon. Utate, cocote, mine eat the garden yori heroin damon. So, this upa is kind of, she's like kind of a bit frustrated, she's a little bit complaining, she's like. And then, that there means cause or because. It's a little bit more casual. So, that there, cause, koko, this place, te. And then, this te is a casual way of quoting something. This is actually the casual form of the to particle. So, koko te, this place is. So, she's now going to be talking about this place, defining its features. Mae ni ita garden. Mae means previously. Ni ita, iru, is to exist for animate objects. So, where you were. Mae ni ita, where I was. Garden. So, the garden that I was in previously. And so, garden here you might think is like a niwa, a garden outside. That's not the case. Actually, this huge building that we're in right now is called a garden、um, in Final Fantasy VIII. It's kind of the name of the school. So, mae ni ita garden yori, more than the garden that I was in previously, hiroin damon. So, hiroi means very, very spacious. Nda, it is that. And then you kind of have this mon at the end. And this adds a little bit of emotion to the sentence. So, ah, because this place, it's just so much more spacious than the garden that I was at previously. Ah, ne, ne. Otashi saki, tenko shte kita bakari nano. Yokata ra, koko no garden an nai shte. Watashi saki, tenko shte kita bakari nano. Yokata ra. ここのガーデン案内して。<laughs> so, 私 me, saki means just earlier. And then, tenko here is actually the changing of schools, right? The transferring of schools. してきた、してきた means you've come to do something, but it's followed by ばかり And this means having just done something. So, tenko してきたばかり means I just changed schools. And then, nano. This is a kind of feminine sentence ender to add assertion. So, I only just changed schools. Yokatara, <laughs> this is interesting. This means if you like. Yoi actually means good. It's the same meaning as e. And then, yoi, how you actually conjugate this adjective, it would be yoi, yokata, it was good. So, yokatara, if it's okay. Koko no garden, so koko here, no garden, so the garden here. Annai shite. And so, Annai is to kind of guide around. So, it's quite interesting. She's almost you know, ordering me, hey, you know, I just arrived here. So, you know, if you like, show me around. So, it's quite assertive of her, right?、Um, to just request like this. Almost not really request, almost be like, yeah, if you want, show me around, right? It's a little bit, a little bit more pushy, right? And that's very much her personality. She's a little bit more of a pushy person. So, n a hima wa nai. Unfortunately, we don't have time for that. We've got to defeat Ifrit. <laughs> so I've decided to answer with Sonna Hima wa nai. So Sonna means like that, right? In that way, to that extent. Sonna Hima means to be free. So if right now you have nothing better to do, you are Hima. Hima wa nai means that you don't have that kind of freedom, that luxury, that kind of spare time. I don't have enough free time to do something like that. Sonna Hima wa nai. I'm busy, right? I don't have that kind of free time. Mmm, ja, shogunai ne. Mmm, ja, shogunai ne. 
So mm, is kind of like thinking. Mm. And then ja, well then, this is the colloquial form of dewa, the spoken language version of dewa. And then shoganai ne. So shoganai means it can't be helped. Literally meaning there is no other way, right? This is the only way. It's a very, very common expression in Japanese. It's one of the most fundamental <laughs> expressions in Japanese society. So shoganai ne, it can't be helped. So, hmm, well, in that case, I guess it can't be helped. Jane, Jane, so Jane is just a way of saying goodbye. See ya. Sa, Ikimashoka. Okay, so now with that little bit of interruption with Selfie, now I'm finally arriving at the Seimon, the front of the school. And Quistus has been waiting for me and she says, Sa, ikimashou ka? So sa means well now, and then ikimashou, this means let's go. This is the same as iko that we saw previously, right? The volitional form of iku, but this time it's the polite volitional, right? Ikimashou, the mus here is the polite form. So ikimashou ka? So this is kind of a question. Shall we go? Well, shall we go? Shiken ni tsukau honno no doukutsu wa koko kara higashi ni itta tokoro ni aru wa Okay, and so Quistus wants to give us some instructions on where this flame cavern, honno no doukutsu, is. And so she says, Shiken ni tsukau honno no doukutsu wa So, shiken is the test, the exam. Ni, in. Skao means to use, and then honno no dokutsu, the flame cavern, wa as for. So as for the flame cavern that is used in the exam, koko kara, from here, higashi. So higashi is a new word here, and this means east. So um, as far as, you know, the directions go, higashi is east. So we want to go in an easterly direction from here, higashi. Koko kara, higashi. Ni, itta tokoro ni, Arua. So, Iku is to go, but we can see now it's Ita Tokoro. So, this is a little bit of a tricky piece of language to conceptualize in your head. But Tokoro has a lot of meanings, and in fact, I have a video just on all the different ways that Tokoro is used. I highly recommend that if you have any problems at all with Tokoro, check that video out because I <laughs> exhaustively went through all of the definitions of how this can be used. But here, Ita Tokoro is the spot when you go. Now, it's very difficult to conceptualize in English because that's not how we talk, but it means that, you know, you go east and at that spot, that is where it is, right? So, ita tokoro ni aru, it exists. So, it exists in a spot if you go east from here. Koko kara higashi ni ita tokoro ni aru wa. So, as for the flame cavern that's used in the exam, it's right when you go east from here. And so, this ita tokoro can also kind of feel like right when you do something, right? Right at the point when you do that action. Ita to go, and then tokoro at that point. So, right at the point where you go east from here. ゆらゆらと空中を漂っているモンスターで霊気の魔法を使うまた自分の HP が少なくなると HP を吸い取る吸血という技を使ったりもする。Okay, so finally, after a year, we finally have our first battle in Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, please forgive me, guys. <laughs> um, so we finally have our first battle. And here I've decided to make use of one of my favorite features in Final Fantasy VIII, the scan feature, known here as Raibura. So this is where you scan an enemy and you can actually get a Pokedex entry for every single monster 
and allies <laughs> and anyone that you cast this spell on you can kind of see like a pokedex entry for them and i love this feature i wish every game had this kind of feature where you have like kind of like an encyclopedia where you can read up about the lore and information of characters like you might see in you know good old instruction booklets right so here i want to check out the first monster that we have here this weird looking alien thing so the description of this alien says yura yura to kuchu o so yura yura is kind of shaking swaying as you can see right it's kind of swaying yura yura to so doing something in a swaying manner kuchu this means in the air and then o so doing something in the air tadayoteiru and that means to float to kind of you know drift in the air right tadayo to float. So he's kind of floating in a swaying motion. Yura yura to tadayoteiru. So kind of you know, floating in the air and then monster. All of this was defining what type of monster he is. He's a monster that floats in the air, kind of swaying, right? So yura yura to kuchu o tadayoteiru monster de. So he is a monster that floats in the air and reiki no maho o tsukao. So reiki here means cold, and in this way, it's actually referring to kind of ice magic, right? Cold magic. So reiki no maho is the magic right there, and then o skull it uses. So this thing right here uses reiki magic or cold magic, ice magic. And then the second part of the information here we have is mata. Jibun no HP ga sukunaku naru to HP o sui toru kyuketsu toyu waza o so mata means also or as well so we had that first sentence and now this is the second part but it's kind of connecting so as what we just previously said and also mata jibun one's own jibun no hp so hp you're probably familiar with is hit points your health and then jibun no hp wa your own health ga sukunaku naru to so sukunaku naru sukunai is very small and then kunaru is ni naru to become so sukunaku naru when it becomes you know less when it decreases to so when this action happens the following thing occurs if you ever see to followed like this behind just a normal verb in the kind of dictionary form sukunaku naru the ru right sukunaku naru to this means when it decreases, the following thing occurs. So, jibun no HP ga sukunaku naru to, when his health gets low, HP o sui toru kyuketsu. HP o, so doing something to the health points, sui toru, that means to suck up or like to absorb. And then we have kyuketsu. So, this means blood sucking. The Q here is kind of a sucking, ketsu is the blood, so blood suck. Toyu waza. So waza means a technique or a skill. And this toyu is kind of defining what kind of waza, as in what the waza, the technique, is called. Kyuketsu toyu waza, a technique that is called blood sucking. O tsukattari mo suru. So tsukattari means to do things like use. If you ever see this tari form, this means pretty much like things like. So it also does things like use a technique called blood sucking when its HP gets low. So this is kind of a gross vampire monster that likes to suck blood and use ice magic. Cool. スコール、いよいよね。準備オッケー。GFをジャンクションするの忘れてない? Okay, so we have a big box now, but we've arrived at Ifrit's cave. We can see, you know, the cave in the background. Um, and here Quistus is just kind of asking Squall, making sure he's okay. And here she says, スコール、いよいよね。準備オッケー? So Squall is Squall, right, my the main character's name. Yo-yo means finally, and then ne, right? So this is it, right? Finally, huh, Squall. Jumbi preparations, okay? Is it okay? GFO, junction suru no 
忘れてない So, GF is not girlfriend. <laughs> In this game, it means guardian forces. This is just the Final Fantasy VIII name for a summon, also known as a shokan. So, here, the summon, the GF, the guardian force, or junction suru. So, this is to junction something. In this game, you need to junction your summon to you in order to use it. So, here, GF o junction suru no. So, the thing of junctioning your summon, wasurete nai, you haven't forgotten. So, wasureru means to forget something, and then wasurete nai is haven't you or aren't you forgetting. So, we have two choices. Okay da. It's okay. Or we have GF, Guardian Force. Jishin ga nai n da yo na. So, as you probably know most of the language in this already, Jishin, self confidence, ga nai, I don't have. N da, it is that, yo na. Huh, that's true, huh? So, GF, actually, I don't really have much confidence regarding them. I don't want to bore you guys with the huge kind of tutorial, so let's just say, okay da, it's okay. Yoroshi. Ikimashou. And so she replies with Yoroshi Ikimashou. So Yoroshi is just a way of saying very well. So we can already see that Quistus is actually talking in quite a polite manner.、Um, every time she kind of talks with Squall, we see her using like the must form and things like that. So we can see this dynamic, right? Just in the language that she uses, how she is the instructor, the teacher, and I am the student in that, you know, because she's using polite language. So Yoroshi Ikimashou. Very well, let's go. Kadai, low level GF Stoku. Support or a seed or shaku or motsumono. Yoi wa i na. Okay, and we finally arrived at the cave, and it's guarded by these two guys who work for the garden. I've always been really confused by the design of these guys. Like, look at them. Like, what's going on? Like, they have this hat that's kind of like a diagonal thing that's blocking their view. Where is their eyes? Where is their face? Are they under the hat? Can they see through the yellow part? What's going on? <laughs>、um, later on in the game, you might kind of understand why they look so weird.、Uh, you know, there is a certain event that happens that kind of explains why they're not quite as normal looking. <laughs> Still, it doesn't really explain what's going on with these dudes, at least from my memory. Anyway, these guys say, Kadai, low level GF. Shutoku. So, kadai, assignment. So, already the way they're talking is quite robotic, right? You don't usually start a sentence saying, assignment. <laughs> so, here,、um, they're a little bit stiff. <laughs> kadai, assignment. Low level, low level GF guardian force, shutoku. That means to acquire something. So, your assignment is to acquire a low level GF. A low level girlfriend. <laughs> supporto wa. So, supporto is support wa as for. So, as for the support, shido shikaku. So, shikaku is like the qualifications and it's connected to seed. So, seed qualifications o motsu mono. Motsu is to hold, to possess, and then mono here is used for a person. So, a person who possesses qualifications of seed, they are who the support needs to be. As for support, it's someone who has seed qualifications. Yoi wa i na. So it means you have prepared, right, someone with a seed qualification to support you. Yoi here is for preparation, and then i is good. Hai. Jumbi pusoku kamo shirinai. And so again, I have two choices. I can say hai. Yes. Or I can say jumbi pusoku kamo shirinai. And that means a lack of preparation, a lack of jumbi. And then, kamo shire nai is that may be the case, right? It's a level of uncertainty that's being expressed. So, yeah, I may not be prepared. Yoroshiku, onegai shimasu. So, I decide to say yes, everything's okay. And so, Squall says, Yoroshiku, onegai shimasu. So, this is a kind of expression when you're going to be working with someone. It's kind Of have a meaning of, you know, please treat me well or let's get along together, that kind of thing, right? It's kind of let's do our thing together, let's work together, let's go smoothly, let's have everything go smoothly, right? So, Yoroshiku, onegai shimasu. Watashi ga supporto shimasu. And so, Quistus replies with, Watashi ga supporto shimasu. So, I am the one who will be doing the supporting. 
共演ナンバー14キスティストリップです Then she follows with 共演ナンバー14クリスティストリップです So 共演 just means an instructor and then number 14 <laughs> the number 14 instructor So instructor number 14 クリスティストリップ And then again, she ends her sentence with des because she speaks quite politely. So she is Quistus Trape. Seigen Jikan no e rabi nasai. Jibun no no ryoku ni ata sentaku o shiro. Namake mo sezu. Muri mo sezu. Da. So she gets accepted as my support. And then these weird shadowy dudes,、um, they say, Seigen Jikan no e rabi nasai. So, Seigen here is kind of a limit on something, a restriction. Seigen jikan, jikan is time. So, the time limit, Seigen jikan o erabi nasai. And erabu is to select, and then nasai is kind of ordering someone to do something. So, select your time limit. Jibun no noryoku ni atta sentaku o shiro. So, jibun no one's own noryoku here is an ability. So, one's own ability, jibun no noryoku ni atta, this means to match your ability, sentaku o shiro. Sentaku here is to make a selection, and then shiro is the imperative form of suru, do something. So, make a selection that fits best with your ability. And then finally, he says, namake mo sezu, muri mo sezu, da. So, Nama keru here is to kind of be lazy, right? To kind of not put in your full effort. And then muri here is to go too much, right? To go excessive, right? To do too much. And then we have this sezu at the end of each of the ones. Nama ke mo sezu, muri mo sezu. Sezu actually means without doing. So without being too lazy. And without going too hard. So, pretty much, don't pick a time that's going to be too easy for you or too hard for you. Pick the right time limit that fits best with your ability. Yoroshi, dewa, ikinasai. I'm gonna pick 30 minutes just because I'm not sure how things are gonna go with breaking language at the same time and recording and everything. <laughs> so, just to be on the safe side, I've done sanjupun, so 30 minutes, and then they say, Yoroshi dewa ikinasai. So, hopefully, everyone knows、um, all of the language here because we've already seen this a ton in this episode. Yoroshi means very well. Dewa means the same thing as ja, well then. And then ikinasai. So, iku to go, and then nasai is kind of ordering someone to do something. So, very well. In that case, go. Okay, so we've made it to Ifrit's cave, the Hono no Dokutsu, the flame cavern. We have 30 minutes to go and defeat Ifrit. And so as we're walking through the cavern,、uh, Quistus is talking to Squall, and here she says, Watashi ga supporto suru no wa battle dake yo. So, Watashi, me, and then ga, so. She's doing some sort of action. Support or suru, doing the supporting, so that's the action that she's doing. No wa. So, as for the support that she's going to provide, batoru, that means the battle, dake, only. So, it's only going to be in battle that she provides support. Kono naka de no kodo wa, anata ga rido suru koto. So, kono naka de means inside this, right? Inside here, right? We're inside the cavern. No kodo. Kodo means kind of action, right? So, the actions that we're going to be doing inside this cavern. Wa, as for those actions, anata ga, you're the one who's going to be, and then doing the following verb, which is rido suru. You're going to be the one that's leading. And then koto here at the end is kind of saying you should be the one, right? You should do this action. So, you should lead us. So, as for all actions inside here, you're the one who's going to be leading. And then Squall replies with ryokai. So, ryokai is kind of a roger, okay, affirmative, understood. Watashi to koko ni kuru to. いつもの実力を出せない生徒多いのよね
私の魅力ってやつかしら。And so Chris just keeps talking and she says, 私とここに来るといつもの実力を出せない生徒多いのよね。So 私と with me, this to particle is kind of expressing doing something with someone. 私と with me, ここに to here, 来る to come, 来ると。So when someone comes here with me, いつも means always, and then jitsu ryoku is one's true ability. Jitsu is like true, and then ryoku is strength. So one's true strength, so one's normal true strength. いつもの jitsu ryoku o dase nai seito. So dasu is kind of to show, right? To, to take out. And then seito is a student. Dase nai seito means students that can't. Express that can't show their normal ability. It's more no jitsu ryoku. Oi no yo ne. So, oi means there are many of. So, there are quite a lot of students that when they come here together with me, they can't show their normal power. And then she says, Watashi no medioku te yatsu kashira. <laughs> so, Watashi no mine. And then we have medioku. <laughs> This means kind of one's charm, attraction.、Uh, so, you know, her charm, Watashi no medioku te yatsu. So, the thing of, you know, my charm. Kashira. And Kashira is like a kind of feminine way of saying Kana. I wonder, I guess. So I guess it's my charm, right? I guess it's my fault because I'm too charming, right? That kind of thing. That's what she's alluding to here.、Uh, the reason why the students can't you know, show their normal strength is because she's too charming. <laughs> Squall doesn't reply, but he just thinks to himself in his, in his head. Nante kyoshi da. <laughs> so, nante is like what? And then kyoshi, teacher, and then da to be. So, what kind of teacher is she? Like, what the hell is up with this teacher? Jordan yo, relax shite morao to omotta no. Chris just clearly gets a little bit uncomfortable with this, you know, silence, and so she says, Jordan yo, relax shite morao to omotta no. So, Jordan here means a joke, and then yo with an exclamation point means she's being very, very strong and assertive, right? It's a joke, it's a joke. Jordan yo, relax shite morao. So, relax is to relax. Shite morao, morao generally means to receive something, and it's connected here with shite morao means I will receive you doing the previous action. Relaxing. So I was going to receive you relaxing. I was going to kind of make you relax. To omotta no. I thought. So it was just a joke. I thought it might help you relax. やっぱりあなたとサイフは別格よね。だって本当に強いもの。Okay, so we finally made it to the end of the cavern, and it looks like this is kind of the end of the road, so this is where Ifrit's going to appear. And so Quista says, Yappari, Anata to Saifa wa bekkaku yo ne. So, Yappari here is an expression used to kind of show that something is as you expect, as you thought, right? So, as I expected, Anata, you, to, and Saifa, Saifa, wa, as for. As for you and Saifa, Bekkaku yo ne. So, Bekkaku here means kind of special, extraordinary. And then yo ne, yo is being assertive, and then ne is again kind of checking for confirmation, kind of, you know, being a little bit friendly. So, wow, as expected, you know, you and Cypher are something else. Date, cause, hontoni, really, truly, tsuyoi mono. Tsuyoi means strong, and then mono here is to emphasize kind of emotion or judgment of the situation. So, you know, it's Because you guys are really strong. So let's keep going a little bit closer. Sa, Kokokaraga Hombanyo, Kokoro no Jumbi, okay? 
Okay, so now we've arrived at the final thing, and it looks like there's a hole that goes down. And so Quista says, Sa, koko kara ga honban yo. Kokoro no junbi, okay? So, sa, well now, come now. Koko kara, so from here. Ga, from here is what is honban. So honban means kind of like the main show, right? The real deal, game time, right? Uh, this is, you know, the real thing. So from here, this is when it really starts, right? So all of the monsters we were fighting previously were nothing comparing to what's about to happen. Kokoro no Jumbi. So kokoro means kind of your heart, but it can also mean your mind. And so kokoro no Jumbi means kind of have you prepared yourself? Right? So it's very much looking at not so much, you know, do you have the weapons ready and everything like that, but more are you ready, right? Inside your heart and your, and your mind, right? Are you okay? Are you ready to do this? Zenzen okay te kanji ne. <laughs> and Squall gives a very kind of nonchalant, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, you know, he seems to be pretty fine. And that's exactly what Quista says next. She says, Zen Zen oke te kanji ne. So, Zen Zen means completely. Generally, it's used with negatives. However, recently it's been used with positives as well. So, here, Zen Zen oke means completely okay. You're totally fine. Te. Kanji. Te is kind of defining what kind of kanji you are, and kanji here is a feeling or an impression. So, you know, you have the impression that you're totally fine. Zen zen oke te kanji. All right, so the battle with Ifrit has started, and I've decided to just start things off straight away by just blasting him with my summons. <laughs> uh, that's a very good tactic in this game, at least at the beginning. So here, blasted him with Shiva, and so Ifrit replies, he's kind of surprised, and he says, Koyatsu, Shiva wo shitagaete oru no ka? So, Koyatsu here is kind of like these guys, but Yatsu is generally a little bit more of a kind of rude way of referring to someone. So you could think of it these guys as more like these bastards, right? Koyatsu, these bastards. Shiva is the summon that I just did, ice summon, that's Shiva. Shiva o, so doing something to Shiva, and then shitagaete oru. So shitagaeru here means to conquer, to subjugate, to subdue something as in to kind of control something. What am I controlling? It's marked here with the O particle, Shiva. Shiva o shitagaete oru. And this oru part is actually a kind of old way, a little bit also humble way, but in this case, just old way of saying iru, right? So the teiru form here, teoru. It's just a kind of old way. That's how Ifrit's using it here. So this gives a kind of impression that Ifrit is almost like a kind of ancient being with the way he's talking. And then Noka here is almost like a rhetorical question, right? So it's clear that we're controlling Shiva, but he's kind of surprised at that. And it's like, huh, so you guys are controlling Shiva? You control Shiva? What the? Shaku na ningen domo me. 
And as we do more damage to Ifrit, he gets a little bit more angry and he says, Koshaku na ningen domome. So Koshaku here is impudent. <laughs> Probably not a word you're going to use too much. Uh, you might not really go around calling people impudent. <laughs> uh, but Koshaku here is what you would use if you chose to do so. Um, koshaku na ningen. Ningen is a human. And then domo is a suffix that you put at the end of something to almost make it like you damn that. So you damn human, right? Ningen domo me, me does very much the same thing as domo. Um, it's really adding a lot of disdain to that person. So it's like you damn filthy human. So insolent humans. And so now Ifrit's almost defeated and he's kind of accepting that we're quite strong and here he says So is like a Ningen, human, Nishtewa means for considering you're a human. So for a human, naka naka yaru na. Naka naka means considerably, and then yaru actually means to do, very much like sudu, but here it's kind of more like you're quite competent, right? You're quite strong. Naka naka yaru na. So for a human, you're pretty strong. Okay, so before I finish off Ifrit, I just want to quickly scan him and get that Pokedex entry and make sure I can understand some of Ifrit and learn some Japanese about him. I love this feature so much. It's so cool. If you ever play this game in Japanese, make sure you do this to every single monster. It's going to really give you so much reading practice because every single monster and ally you can scan. It's awesome. Anyway, so here we have Ifrit. And so the information about him says, Hono no GF de Ari. Hono no Maho tsukate kuru. So, Hono, as we know, is flame, fire. So he's a flame GF, a flame guardian force. Hono no GF de Ari. De Aru means to be, right? And de Ari here is the is acting as kind of like a comma, right? It's showing that the sentence isn't finished. Um, if you just had aru by itself, this would kind of feel like it's at the end of the sentence. So de ari is kind of like the comma, the sentence is continuing. He is a flame GF and hono no maho tsukate kuru. He comes to use flame magic. Sore nari ni kyoteki dewa aru ga garden no shiken ni natteru koto kara mo wakaru yo ni taosenai aite dewa nai. So, sore nari ni, that means in its own way. This is just an expression that you just look at. Sore nari ni kyoteki dewa aru. So, kyoteki means a strong opponent. Kyo here for strong, teki for an enemy, a fierce enemy, a fierce opponent. Dewa aru, so he is a fierce opponent in his own way. However, da, garden no shiken, the exam of the garden, Ninateru koto kara. So from the fact that you know it's become a part of the exam, mo wakaru yo ni, as it is known that you know if it is a part of the exam for the gardens, taose nai aite dewa nai. So taosu here is to defeat, to overthrow, and um, to kind of push over. <laughs> but here it's to defeat. Taose nai means you can't defeat. Aite here is an opponent, so an opponent that you can't defeat, dewa nai, is not. So he's not an opponent that you can't defeat because he's, you know, the kind of standard GF that, you know, the garden uses for its exams. Okay, so we finished off Ifrit and here he says, Kono wa ga ningen gotoki ni makeru to wa na. So, 
Kono Ware, this is referring to himself, this is not a normal way of referring to oneself. Remember, he's this kind of archaic being, and so here this is how he's referring to himself, he's this mystical creature. Kono Ware, right, that's his pronoun. Kono Ware ga, as for me, ningen gotoki, so gotoki here means like, so like a human. It can also mean as if, right, so as if a human, ni makeru. So, makeru here is to lose, and the ni is indicating who you lost to. Losing to the likes of a human. Ningen gotoki ni makeru toa na. So, toa here is usually used to define something, but here it's to think that I would do such a thing as lose to a human. Yokaro, ware no chikaro o mae tachi ni kashite yaro. Yokaro. So, yokaro here is, again, this kind of ancient old way of speaking. It's an archaic form of very well. We've actually seen this, you know, seen quite a lot already, like yoroshi, um, you know, the more normal way. Here, yokaro is a, an old way of saying that. Um, you can also see that it's an old version of yoi daro, yokaro. Right, so yoi means good and daro means right, so very well. Ware, so me, ware no chikara, my strength, or oh, so I'm doing something to my strength, omae tachi, so you guys, omae is you. We've already learned that anata means you, and omae is even more of a not good way of referring to someone, it's more rude. So omae tachi, tachi is a pluralizing suffix, so you. You guys, omae tachi ni, so to you guys, and then kashite yaro. Kasu here is to lend, and then yaro is a way of kind of saying I will do. So, very well, I shall lend you my strength. Okay, so we've defeated Ifrit, and uh, just as we're about to leave, we've been attacked by a bomb. And this is a really good opportunity to do a scan on this guy, because he's really interesting, these bombs. They're kind of a famous Final Fantasy monster. Um, their mechanic is quite interesting. You need to be careful. It gets a lot of new players killed. So, the description for this bomb, it says... Hono no chikara de ugoiteru monster. So, Hono no chikara, the power of flame, de, by the power of flame. And then, ugoiteru, ugoku means to move, ugoiteru means moving. And then, monster is a monster. So, a monster that is moving by the power of flames. And then, the next part is pretty big, let's go through it. Fudan wa otonashi ga kogeki o ukeru to. So, fudan wa. Fudan means normally, ordinarily. So, fudan wa. As for normally, otonashi means kind of meek, mild, docile. So, fudan wa. As for normally, otonashi ga. He's normally docile, however. Kogeki is an attack, or ukeru to. So, when he receives a kogeki, when he receives an attack, when he is attacked, kyodai kashitari. So, kyodai here is kind of a giant, and then ka here is kind of showing to turn into something. So, turning into a giant, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Kyodai kashitari. He does things like becoming very, very big. Bakuhatsu shitari. So bakuhatsu is to explode, and again, tari, do things like. So he does things like grow very big, and does things like explode, and then finally followed by suru. So that's how you use this tari form. You have one tari, the second tari, followed by suru. And then abunai means dangerous, abunai monster de aru. He is a dangerous monster. So let's put this huge sentence together and have a look at how it all works. So, normally it's quite docile, however, it's a very dangerous monster, as when it gets attacked, it does things like become giant and explode.
ガンブレードという特殊な剣を使おう戦士必殺技としてガンブレードを使っての連続剣を使おうちょっと無口で冷めた性格である Okay, and finally, before we finish, I'd just like to quickly use the scan feature to actually scan Squall and Quistus because it's amazing being able to do this. So let's have a look at the description of Squall in the game. So, Gumbredo toyu, tokushu na ken o skao senshi. So, Gumbredo is the gun blade, toyu, so something that's called a gun blade. Tokushu na, so this is a na adjective. Tokushu means special or unique, and it's a Tokushu na ken, so a unique sword called the gun blade. Gunbredo toyu, Tokushu na ken o skao senshi, and senshi means a warrior or a soldier. So he is a warrior that uses a special sword known as a gun blade. Hisatsu aza toshite. ガンブレードを使っての連続剣を使う。So, 必殺技 this is kind of like a finishing blow. 必殺 is like a deadly or like a knockout, certain death. 技 is a technique. So, your certain death technique, right? Your knockout, your finisher. として means as. So, as his finisher attack, ガンブレードを使って he uses his gun blade and then 連続剣を使う。So, actually, interestingly enough, Renzoku means continuous and Ken means sword. In the game, in the actual English game, his attack is just known as Renzoku Ken. But this actually literally means a continuous sword, right? So it's like continuous strikes, right? It's kind of like it implies this multiple attacks, right? Renzoku Ken. And then finally, it finishes off with a little bit of information about Squall. It says, ちょっと無口で冷めた性格である。So, ちょっと just means a little bit. 無口 means kind of silent, untalkative. 無 means none. And then 口 is your mouth. So, if you imagine like no mouth, right? Silent. ちょっと無口で。So, he's a little bit silent and. So, what is this de right here?、Um, I've actually had someone in the Discord for Game Genga recently ask this question. And all this is doing is acting as a kind of comma. Right? He is a little bit silent and de sameta se kaku de aru. So, sameru here is to kind of be cool, composed, and then se kaku is a personality. De aru is just the literary way of saying da des to be. So, he's a little bit silent, he doesn't talk too much, and he has a cool, composed personality. ふだんはムチを使うがいざとなると覚えているモンスターの技を使うことができる戦士ちょっと怖いイメージがあるが学園内にはファンクラブもある And now finally looking at Quistus So Quistus's description is ふだんはムチを使うがいざとなると覚えているモンスターの技を使うことができる戦士 So, Fudan wa, as for normally, Muchi here is that whip, right? The Christus whip. Muchi o tskao, using a whip, ga. However, iza to naru to, so when the time comes or when is necessary, oboe teiru monsta no waza. So, oboeru here is to remember or even to learn. And then, oboe teiru means something that you have learned or you know, are remembering. Monster no waza means the monster's ability. So, monster's ability that you've learned or skull she uses. So, this is kind of the blue magic, right? She uses、um, the abilities that other monsters that she's learned from them. Koto ga dekiru. She's able to do. And then, Senshi, the warrior. So, although she normally uses a whip, she is a warrior that can use enemies' attacks that she's learned from them when it's necessary. <laughs> ちょっと怖いイメージがあるが、学園内にはファンクラブもある。<laughs> so, ちょっと a little bit 怖い means scary, and then イメージ is like an image or an impression. がある g So, she has a little bit of a scary impression or an image. However, 
Gakuen Nai, so Gakuen is the campus, the school campus. Nai means within, so on the school campus. Gakuen Nai Niwa, so as for on the school campus. Fan Kurabu, a fan club, Mo Aru. She also has. So, as we saw previously, um, at the very beginning of this episode, there was that fan club that was like so jealous that they could, that I was able to go on this assignment with Quistus, and they were like, ah, Urayamashi! Well, that is the fan club, the Quistus fan club. Hi, Otsukare sama. Okay, and so we've made it back to the garden, and here Quistus says, Hi, Otsukare sama. So, hi means okay, and then Otsukare sama is a very, very, very useful expression. I use this daily in Japan, even though I don't really talk too much on my daily basis just because I teach in English at school and, you know, don't need to use Japanese unless, you know, students really need help. <laughs>、um, but this word I use every single day. Otsukare sama. This is what you say after, you know, a kind of day, maybe you've worked together with someone, or maybe you've just, you know, with a colleague or someone in the same facility or school, and you're kind of saying goodbye to them. But in a way, you kind of want to say, you know, like, oh, you know, you did a good job today, you know, thanks for your hard work. That right here is Otsukare sama. So here, Quistus is saying thanks for your hard work, right? You did a good job. And this is definitely a useful piece of language to use,、um, you know. Even if you've just done like a difficult task, right? Like, let's say you've worked with someone to kind of move a piece of furniture and they look very tired, right? You could say, Otsukare sama, right? Thanks for your work. <laughs> like, good job, right? It just kind of acknowledges one's efforts. It shows that you're aware of their efforts. You did a good job. You know, thanks for your help. But you could also use it, for example, after work. Like, for example, I would talk with like the security guards after work or other teachers. I might say, you know, Otsukare sama deshita or something like that. あとは部屋に戻ったら制服に着替えて一回ロビーに集合よ。And so the final sentence of this episode here, Quistus says, あとは部屋に戻ったら制服に着替えて一回ロビーに集合よ。Ato wa, so ato usually means later, but in this case it actually kind of means, you know, what's remaining. So what's left for you to do? Ato wa, hea ni modotara. So hea is your room, modoru is to return, and then ni is showing the direction. When you return to your room, hea ni modotara. Seifuku, here is your uniform. Right? Your school uniform.、Uh, if you, you know, go to school and you have a uniform, that is a seifuku. If you have a job that you have, your uniform, that here is seifuku. So, seifuku ni kigaete. Kigaeru here means to change clothes, and you want to change into, the ni is expressing this, into your uniform. Seifuku ni kigaete. And then, ikkai robi ni. So, ikkai, floor number one. Kai here means floor, and then the i. Or ichi is for number one, but it's just ikai, the first floor. Robi is the lobby, and then ni, so the direction in at the first floor lobby, shugo. So that means to meet up, to gather. So, kind of, let's assemble, let's meet up at the first floor lobby after you've returned to your room and changed your clothes. And that is it. A huge Otsukare sama deshita. Thank you very much, everyone. Congratulations. We've covered a ton of language in this episode.、Um, if you want to have a look at all of the words that we've covered、um, in this episode, feel free to check out the spreadsheet that's in the link in the description.、Um, there's all of the episodes that we've covered through the vocab series.、Um, I'm going to be going through all of them and collecting all of the vocabs、so、that you have a kind of definitive place so you can see all of the language, but also just how much of the JLPT that we've covered、um, throughout the series. So in this episode, I believe. We've covered like 220 or something. It's over 200. It's a lot of words.、Um, so if you want to check out those words, feel free to check it out in the description below. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was an absolute pleasure to come and return to the Final Fantasy VIII world. I would very much love to do another episode very, very soon. So, this only took around about、uh, maybe three or four days、uh, non stop. All day, every day, I'm、um, working on this video. So that's not too bad. <laughs> it's a little bit better than two weeks.、Um, so hopefully, 
I can get more episodes like this out as soon as possible. But there's a ton of other things that I'm making. You know, we have the comprehensible gaming that I'm going to be making very soon. We're going to be looking at Animal Crossing with that. Uh, we also have some more grammar that we're going to be looking at, particularly looking at kind of differences between particles. And we have another vocab episode coming out very, very soon. And we also have the Genki videos as well as N3 grammar. So if you like this channel and you want to support these videos, feel free to like, subscribe. And if you really love these videos and want to support the channel, then consider joining us on Patreon and come saying hello in the Game Gengo Discord. I'm always around to chat. I'll probably be around right now if you want to say hi and, you know, ask some tips or just hang out and geek out and about video games. Uh, we've got over 100 members. We're getting close to 200 members now on the Discord. So feel free to come join and say hi. It would be a pleasure to have you in the Game Gengo Discord community. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you all again in the next video. See ya.